Hello and welcome to this edition of the Colac Herald Monday Sports Mash. I'm Lachlan Cowlishaw, beside me is Ben Martin. There's lots to get through, lots of action. Let's go to the Sun, the Sun Gold Cup 2020 scores from the weekend. How did Irrawarra go, Ben? Uh, so as you may have heard, Irrawarra have advanced to the semi-final of the Sun Gold Cup following their quarter-final victory against uh, West Gambia on Sunday. Um, after having West Gambia all out for 123, uh, it was Jeff Percy, the pick of the bowlers there, with four for ten. Um, Irrawal went on to catch uh, the, the seasoned uh, 2020 performer in, uh, I think it was the first ball with the 20, in the 20th over there. Um, Tim Foley, the captain, uh, was, the, was the best batsman on the day with 59 runs. Uh, former captain, I suppose, uh, Kane Quigg instead, was another top performer with uh, 34. So, yeah, they'll go on and they'll play on Thursday um, against Grampians Cricket Club in the semi-final, uh, one game away from uh, Sun Gold Cup. 2020 Grand Final, so all the best to Irrawarra there. And we'll now go to Lachlan with uh, Colac District Cricket. Well done, Irrawarra, with that result. And let's go straight into the cricket now as the scores flash up on your screen. The first game we have for you is City United versus Irrawarra. United continuing a little bit of a batting slump. They made 128. Sam Cardinal, the top scorer, with 36. Irrawarra were 1 for 33 at the close of play. So a little bit of work there to do for City United next week. The next game we have for you is Warrion versus Elvie. Strange day of cricket, that. Warrion all out for 92. Two. Ryan Lang, the only, one of the only men to pass 20 with uh, his 56. They had LV5 for 79 at the close of play. So there's only a couple of runs to get there next week. So it's going to be a very another interesting day of cricket as day two commences. Jake McQuan, the best of the LV bowlers with 4 for 25. In the final match, uh, we've got Colac versus Stonyford. Big effort here. Second century of the season to Aidan Spence, 102. Well done to him. Colac made a total of 240. Uh, Paul Langdon, 31. Alex Burnett, 28. The other contributors with the bat. Grant Brower did his best. Really toiled hard. Six for 44 uh, with his bowling effort. So... A little bit of work there to do for Stonyford, but they, remember they made that big 297 um, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, it's going to be an interesting encounter next week. Let's go across to the basketball now. And in Country Basketball League news, the Cougars have secured uh, win number seven this season. Uh, a bit of a memorable one, uh, 123 points they scored, which uh, was the highest score scored in uh, the Southwest Conference this season up until Sunday when our Cry Bay actually... Uh, Beat that by one point and managed 124. 123.56 was the final score against the bottom place Horsham Hornets uh, to keep them in to keep Colac in touch with the top four. Marcus Larkham continued a superb season with a with a top uh, 32 points, while Sean Dell probably played his best game for the season with uh, 20 points under the basket. Um, and now the Colac Cougars will hope to secure their spot in the top four in this weekend's final round against Warrnambool. Now back to Lachlan with the balls. Here we go. And just to finish off now, the bowls are, the scores are flashing up on your screen. Of course, we cover those two feature matches. Colac won back on the winner's list. Uh, backed up their win against Winchelsea last week with a win against Camperdown Golf and keep their finals chances alive. And in the second match, Apollo Bay down Winchelsea. Big fight there from Winchelsea. They actually won three rinks, but uh, Apollo Bay just proved too good through Adam Donoghue in the end. A big rink win for him. So things are certainly heading up towards finals. And now, as we finish off the show, we've got the Colac Herald Sportsman of the Week. We have alluded to him earlier. We've got to give it to him. He's going to love it. Aiden Spence, 102 runs. Pretty good effort, don't you reckon, Ben? You can't look past young Spencey there, 19-year-old. Uh, definitely, um, imp- I suppose, improving with each week. Um, only the second bats, uh, batsman in Colac District Cricket to, to secure, secure a ton uh, this year after Sam Cardinal uh, for City United last year. Um, and obviously, it does a lot of things. I, I hear he's got a country um, aspirations, so you know that doesn't hurt a, a century here or there. So all the best to him for that, and uh, congratulations to, to Aiden. Yep, well done, Aiden, and that's it for us. So please make sure you tune in next week.